Okay, in this section of the course, uh, we are going to look at the uh, basically backend services that we need to support these Spring Boot microservices, specifically uh, MySQL and JMS. Typically, each microservice should have its own database. Here, we are only going to be deploying one database, and some organizations don't even like to use Kubernetes for a database. So, uh, arguable, I'll, I'll give you that, but for a pragmatic uh, approach in the course, we're going to be standing up MySQL in a container. Uh, granted, we'll lose data. Uh, that's a, another another thing that we can tackle in a different course, uh, but just from a pragmatic uh, example, I want to be talking to a MySQL database. Uh, we don't really need three databases that really just add a layer of complexity, so from a pragmatic standpoint, I'm only going to use my, one MySQL database in a container. I'm more focused on getting Spring Boot to talk to said database and showing you how to set that up with environment pr uh, parameters. We'll be looking at that down the road. The objective of this section of the course is to get MySQL and JMS running in Kubernetes.